What's up, people? Today I'm going to be weighing in and giving y'all my thoughts on companies like Stitch Fix and these meal prep companies, as well as reading some comments on my Trifecta meal prep video. If you're new to my channel, my name's Kevin Reese. Go ahead, click that subscribe button for me, turn on notifications so you never miss when I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Now let's get into this video. All right, so who are these companies for? Now I've always said companies like these are great for people who have a lot of money but not a lot of time. They're great for people who are like always on the go, but they don't have any time to shop for food or buy clothes or cook. Now my question is, have people really become too busy that they cannot shop for their own food and their own clothes? I mean, I don't know what kind of career or work you have, but I mean, if it's, if it's that busy, please drop a comment and let me know what you do, because that's crazy. I mean, we're talking about like four essential things that humans need for survival. I mean, the three, you've got food, water, and shelter. And the fourth is clothing. Thank you, Adam and Eve, for making us realize that we were naked. And now I'm no stranger to all the hype that's been surrounding companies like this for the past few years. It seems like every other week there's a new uh, clothing company that's gonna shop and pick out your clothes for you. And there's a new meal prep company that you can get your meals pre-made, pre-cooked, and shipped out to you. So about a year ago, I spent my own hard-earned money and I tried Trifecta meal prep for one week. And that video currently has a little over 22,000 views. And don't worry, I'll include it on my end screen so y'all can check it out. Or you can just search Trifecta meal prep and it's like one of the first videos that comes up. Now in the video, I show the meals that come with it, how it's packaged, and I break everything down, the cost and all that stuff, and all the fine details that people want to hear. But to kind of sum it up, for only one meal a day, which was supper, so you're missing out on breakfast and lunch, you're on your own for those, one meal a day, it was $108 per week, which was $432 for the whole month for one person for one meal a day. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't know many people that can afford $432 a month for one person for only supper. That is outrageous. And not to mention the food sucked. That's a little over $15 for one meal and a tiny meal at that with a tiny portion of meat that was bland and a very small amount of veggies if you go with like the paleo diet like I went with. Now I'm 185 pounds and it left me feeling hungry after eating it. So sorry guys, if y'all are over 200, y'all are gonna be starving. So the majority of the comments on that video talked about me chewing the food. Now I had just gotten a new mic and had not adjusted the settings on my camera. The mic is a professional mic, it's very sensitive. I was in a quiet kitchen, it was just me. And if people would listen closely in the video, as I am moving the food around with the fork, it is amplified. I mean, you can hear how loud it is just from me moving the food with the fork. So of course it's gonna be loud when I'm chewing it, but if those people can't appreciate the fact that I spent almost $500 of my own money to make this video to help others and offer my opinion with a real world example, not to mention me taking all of my time to shoot this video, edit and upload this video, then that's their problem. I should have gotten right in the mic and chewed with my mouth wide open. Can't please everybody. But if I've learned anything from having my YouTube channel for a little over eight years now, it's that some people are just miserable and unhappy with themselves. So they take it out on others who are positive thinkers and just trying to help people. People like me who try to spread kindness and love and generosity and encourage people and motivate people. Then you have people that like to sit around on little keyboard warriors and just sit there and spew hate out to people who are trying to do good deeds and help others out. I just feel sorry for y'all, man. I just feel sorry for people like that. If any of y'all are watching this video, I feel sorry for you. Now let's get into some of these comments. Corey Dickey writes, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? That guy eating. Herpy Derpity says, that is the most moist chewing I've heard. Israel the Great says, ASMR meal prep food. Hey, maybe I should do some videos like that. Me chewing sure did seem to garner a lot of attention. Maybe I should be a professional chewer. <laughs> Chanel says, WTF, it sounds like a dog is eating. Joe Lazifer says, bro, if you were my roommate, I would beat you until you ate food like a normal human being. Bring it, son. Complete Beauty Treat says, ew, gross, he chews, ew, stop. Really? Finally, the first positive comment. Etta Williams, thank you for even taking the time to do this. People can be so mean and inconsiderate with their comments. I'm about to order mine right now. Thanks again for sharing. Jay Morales says, awesome review, thank you. Made a lot of sense about this being expensive. 
I thought about getting this, but now you prove to me that it is out of my budget with five mouths to feed. So see, that's one of the reasons I made this video. This person has five people who depend on the, him. He or she may have been looking at this and considering it. Five mouths to feed sounds like they're probably working an awful lot other than fast food and they just don't have a lot of time to make their own food. So my video was able to help this person with five mouths to feed determine that they need to find another alternative because $432 a month for only supper for one person is way out of most people's budgets. Life by Lindsay Claire. I appreciate the video. Thanks for making it. Delilah Vasquez. Thanks for the review. This product looks nasty. It is. Zay Zay writes, OMG, OMG. I almost threw up when I heard him chewing. Give me a break. Chiro92 says, thank you. Good review. David says, bro, I just love your accent. Remind me of UFC fighter Bryce Mitchell. Where are you from? David, I was born and raised in South Carolina. Jennifer Brown says, listening to the chewing was gross. Oh my God. A Reuben boy says, great video, but you're chewing and swallowing bad. Mount Ford says, thank God I saw your review. It doesn't look appealing to eat at all. Won't order. Well, Mona, I'm glad I could save you some money. Herpity Derpity also says, only 350 calories, going to have to eat three in a sitting to get full. The meal services that you have to cook seem better. That's if you actually put effort into cooking, unlike me. Peter Robbins says, just got a 30% off coupon in my email from Trifecta. I'm currently doing Green Chef Keto for about two months, which I like. My first thoughts about this meal plan is that the food doesn't look that good. Well, Peter, you're right, because it is not that good, and it is very expensive. Chase writes, yeah, I had to stop after I heard him eating. Oh, I'm sorry, Chase life so hard for you. You know what I love about these people in these comments who have no picture. If you go to their page, there's no subscribers. They have the weirdest playlist too. Strange people. Captain's Crew says, I've read stovetop reheats may yield a better experience. Dominion09 says, are they frozen? But you can see in the video, they're a little frosty, but they're not frozen solid. They're packed inside a box, like a big cooler, and they have all these ice packs all over them to keep everything really cool, but they're not frozen, frozen. I mean, they may be when they ship out, but who knows how long it takes them to get to you. And it also depends on the temperature at the time of which they ship, what's the temperature outside, what season it is, stuff like that. A lot of different variables come into play. Jericho Gaming says, I appreciate the fact that you made the video, but could you have at least muted the parts where you eat it? Not trying to be rude, but it's not the best sound to hear in your eardrum. Jericho, build a bridge. Get over it. Lake Show 07, that chicken does not look cooked. It was cooked, but barely. Christian Boswell said, so it's basically one meal a day. Yep, pretty much. Just one, a little over $15 meal a day. Very small, with only a little piece of meat and a little bit of vegetables that are bland. Stacy April says, geez, dude, why'd you have to chew so loud? And why would you pick the food with a fork and then grab it with your fingers? Straight up gross. Well, Stacy, I'm sure that I could watch you eat and criticize many things. But I'm just going to rise above that. Jake Reynolds says, him eating it ruined the video. Jake, I sincerely apologize to you. Malika says, this is the worst review ever. Apparently Malika has not traveled into the bowels of YouTube to see some of the videos and review videos that are on there. Gonzo Be Crazy said, was there a cow chewing behind this guy? Good Lord. Nah, nah, just me. Brandon Rosario says, chew with your mouth closed. BDoggo2 says, it's designed around fitness and healthy eating on the go. Seasoning adds calories. Well, that depends on what kind of seasoning you use, buddy. Ever heard of Mrs. Dash? Fitness guys eat bland stuff all the time. Well, they did say great review though, so thank you. James Richardson says, I can't leave here without commenting out disgusting your sound when you eat Jesus Christy, clean it up. Bro, what are you even talking about? All right, y'all, hang on for this one. <laughs> Iron Warrior 95 writes, four meals a day with only 2,000 calories a day in total would cost 390 a week, nearly 1,600 per month for only 2,000 calories and food that doesn't really look like they advertised it like it was fresh made just for you out delivered still hot so if i need 6,000 calories a day so what now i guess it would be 4,500 a month and a ton of packages and ice packs which i hope they take back and use them again at least ice packs and, and the styrofoam 
But this whole thing is America, so I guess no one could even think about to recycle this stuff and how stupid and senseless it is to waste so much resources that are expensive too. In Germany, only this would kill the whole company. You have to be stupid to start something like this and spend so much money to re unfresh food. If they would cook it right before delivery and you get it within an hour like with normal food ordering, I would maybe understand the price and when someone takes one meal a day, but even if I was a millionaire, I would be mind F-U-C-K-E-D to pay $1,600 a month for a 2,000 cal children diet, oh, 4,500 for 6,000 cal. If I could spend so much money for my body, I would rather cook by myself and go to restaurant and spend the rest of for growth hormone and instead of burning money and a SHIT load of resources, but I forgot it's America and no other country of the world, so this whole business would even have a chance to survive. Thank you for that, Iron Warrior 95. El Marichuno Salinas says, bro, you talk too much. I'm sorry, but that's what you do in a video review. It's okay, baby. Evan Poole says, studies show a higher number of smaller meals is more effective than a lower number of bigger meals when trying to build lean muscle and burn fat. I'll let y'all do your research on that. Mouse Alexander says, keep your mouth closed when you eat. Don't blame the mic. <laughs> David Medina says, this dude chews his food like a freaking pig. High Ox says, dude, you were supposed to stovetop cook it real quick or nuke it for way longer than a min. Three to five tops. Don't tell me how to live my life. The whole purpose of the food is to be fast and easy. It is pre-cooked food. You are paying for the convenience factor. Please tell me what the purpose of cooking the food on the stovetop would be. Does that not defeat the whole business model of the company of which you are paying for to have pre-cooked food? Microwave cook times are based on wattage. Most businesses and places of work and employment have a microwave where you can heat your food. They don't have a freaking oven. Anders Gassat says, Eh, this is a waste of money and honestly does not look that great. You can do your own weekly meal prep cheaper, put it in containers and bam, food for the whole next week. It's not hard to meal prep once you figure out and take the time to do basic cooking. A paleo diet is even easier to make. Can't argue with you on that one, buddy. Yeah, I wouldn't advise anyone to do this. Unless you're a millionaire and you just got money to blow. Malika says it doesn't look very appetizing. Spelled it all wrong. It's uncooked. That's raw chicken. He microwaved raw chicken. I can't with these people. You're paying for pre-cooked food that you don't have to cook. Oh, God. Some people. Some people, you just can't get through to them. And that's enough comments. Well, that's it for this video, and I hope that I've helped you and you found it informative, and that I have been able to shed some light on the subject of these meal prep and clothing companies that you pay a convenience factor for. I mean, y'all, you got to realize there's 24 hours in a day. If you can't find the time to save some money and buy some cheap, affordable clothing and go to the grocery store and get some food to cook, heck, you don't even have to go to the grocery store. Now you can order online. You can literally take your phone, grocery shop right here from your phone, and just go pick it up. And you can get a ton of food for more than one person. If you're a millionaire and you got money to blow, hey, go for it. But that is the market that these kind of companies aim at, are very wealthy people that have a lot of money and not a lot of time. Y'all, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment, let's talk about it. Click that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm Kevin Reese.